Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as a Russian SFSR. So, today is, I guess, the first day of which, um, I hit over 500 subscribers. That's really cool. That's actually really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, thanks for subscribing and liking all the videos and coming here if, every day and watching. I really appreciate it if you come here and do that every day. If you don't, if you only watch a couple of episodes, that's totally fine with me. Just I say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and decided to take time out of their day to watch me. So thank you very much. I will be doing probably a very, very short video as a thank you for 500 subscribers. I guess for me, the next goal, at least in terms of subscribers, is probably a thousand. So, yeah. I'm going to probably do a small video for you guys. It's a very small video as a thank you for 500 subs. Not going to be a great video. It'll be a video. I'm not, I don't really know anything about editing videos or anything like that. But right now, we got to focus on defeating the Axis. That's really our goal. Uh, last time, we did break into Romania, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Right now, I really need to be looking at my tanks, though. Because what they're going to do is something extremely important. So once they're out of this battle, my goal... Uh, is to finish off Romania. Now, historically, there's like some, there's some sort of offensive that turned Romania into basically a Soviet ally, r communist ally during World War II, our timeline, which was the Jassy Kishinev, Kishinev offensive, which turned Romania communist, or at least pro-Soviet. So that's really what my goal here is to do this time. Get rid of the Axis fuel that Romania has, gives to the rest of the Axis, Cripple the Axis's Air Force, Tank Divisions, Navy if they have any, and uh, yeah, go from there pretty much. But I can't really move yet because our tanks are quite literally constantly under attack. Because we took this area last time in which we were literally just defeated right now. So be it, whatever. I need my tanks to re-delegate themselves over to, honestly, probably just this one tile. Because what I'm planning on doing, or at least going to attempt to do, is do some sort of small encirclement. So I'm going to attack this tile over here where they have a few divisions where my, where my mouse is. And then move up around the river and hopefully cut off a couple divisions and encircle them. At least that's the plan. Uh, let's see, you guys, you know, do that. Am I making regular infantry with artillery? Well, it's 20 width. That's not terrible. It could be better. Whatever. That's fine. We're, we're getting attacked very hard across the entire front. Somewhat alarming, but yeah, that's pretty normal. Extra military factory, very good. Uh, I really want to use my heavy tanks because, well, they're heavy tanks and they can be pretty hard to beat. But right now we don't have a lot of heavy tanks. If I were to use my infantry to maybe move the front line a little bit more forward, that could prove to be very good. But we'll see what happens. I wonder if we can push this way just a tad bit. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Just go ahead and stop. I don't need any more extra casualties. Uh, since I'm starting this again on a new day, and you want to have upgrades? No. No, no. No, no. No, and no. Cool. And I might as well do it for everyone. Vasily? Nope. And then Dimitri? No. Awesome. Well, not awesome. I wish they, wish they did have upgrades, but whatever. Our tanks have already begun arriving down here, which is good. But it's only one tank division down there right now. Uh, they are still moving around, but something tells me they're probably still going to get attacked as they move around the countryside. Oh, well, some of them are already there. Great. Uh, what is our current capacity on planes? Right now, our medium bombers need some help. We actually have a surplus of heavy fighters, which is absolutely glorious. Exactly. 200 heavy fighter twos. Awesome. Cool. And... Awesome. I will throw you onto this guy, the actual tank divisions, and throw you... Looks like you guys are getting bombed to hell, so I'll put you over there as well. Air superiority is a great thing. Looks like there's still more attacks going on here in Spain, which is fine. And they're attacking me over the river from Romania. Good job, Italians. Good job. Looks like these guys are pretty darn injured. Uh, can we just send all these divisions this way? Yes, we can. Thank you very much, tanks. You don't even have air superiority, but you're doing a great, great job. Nice. Just don't get pushed back. 
That's really my concern. Awesome. Motorized obviously made it there first, but they're holding off okay. Fairly decently. And the heavy tanks have arrived. Um, I don't want to expand down this way, but it would be easier to hold the line if we took some of these Italian boys off of here. Take half of you guys. Attack this way. If we can push them off and defend over... Defend, you know, with the river facing the enemies, that's actually just really, really good. But we must continue. Um, actually, just put them all in one tile again. My goal is to get up to, like, here. So that'll be good. Sounds like my cat Mocha is meowing. But I'm not going to pay attention to that right now. Alright then. Very good. And uh, let's see. Tanks, 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 tanks. No, 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 no. One tile. One tile, my friend. Alright, the supply here is... Oh, uh, it's level garbage. Yeah, it's level garbage. That's right. Um, It might actually help if we take this tile first. There's just... Looks like there's too many guys here. Wait. Who's coming from up here? Wait. Wh why are you up here? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess there's, like, really bad supplies. So they're, they decided not even to move. That's fine. We did go up a little bit more northwards, and then we lost it. So be it. So be it. So be it. Um... Alright, all or nothing cruiser armor scheme. Very nice. 1940s cruisers up next. Our tanks are getting hit pretty hard, but that's okay since we can now increase the supply in Bessarabia and probably southern Bessarabia as well. Actually, that'll come probably very handy. Go ahead and reform the front line as well because we are stretching out our front line quite a bit. And our defense overall, pretty nice compared to our offense. Bessarabia, obviously, is what I want first. And I'm definitely going to claim this when we're done with the war. Strip, hung strip Romania of many things that it has. Uh, let's see. 1948 is the next year in which we can get an artillery upgrade. So be it. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea right now to go ahead and do logistic companies. Because, as you can tell, we're suffering from attrition already. So. Uh, let's see. What... Oh, better artillery. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Right now, we're out of heavy tanks. That's, I mean, that's a pretty much a constant at this point. But we do have even some more heavy fighters. 300 more heavy fighters. Really good stuff here. Really great. All right, and they are almost ready to be deployed. And good. I'm going to give these guys to you. Gonna give these guys to you. And give these guys to you. Because why not? Alright. I could maybe attack over here to. Oh, that's actually not too bad if I did an encirclement here. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, maybe we should help them out. Maybe we should try to encircle them. Maybe we should delete these divisions and not commit die on them. Oh, wait. We are gonna commit die on them. Great. Go ahead and commit die on these guys. 3 plus 11 is 14, 15, 16 enemy divisions are have been encircled in Romania. This might be the beginning of the end for the enemy. Oh my goodness, please just do it. Please finish them off. Oh my god. Yes. Nearly 50 million casualties for the Germans alone, but nearly 24 million for the Axis. That was just mwah, beautiful. Thank you. Heavy tank divisions, you're actually useful for something, finally. It only took me eight years to get some pretty good heavy tank divisions out. Whew. Alright. 1944, close to 1945. We might actually be able to go ahead and get better radar anyways. I want to make sure we have the best radar as we advance through Europe. Uh, do that one eventually for China. We will definitely want that area to have radar. We definitely need Vladivostok to have it. And perhaps even up here, eventually. We don't need it anytime soon. And yes, I will keep an eye on Turkey. But the Allies and the Axis have been stuck here for quite a long time. And I'm not really worried if the Axis can push through Turkey. I really don't think they can. Especially since we are doing one hell of an offensive against the Axis in Romania. Which we're cutting off a bunch of, hopefully, oil supply. Alright, you guys get down here. We're doing a phenomenal job. Actually, I will need another radar station somewhat close. Actually, do it in Königsberg. I love Königsberg. Never been there because it doesn't exist anymore. 
so disheartening. But, um, yeah. We're going to need that because we probably will attack a lot of ships here in the Baltic Sea. Attack Sweden eventually. Obviously, Norway will be part of the Allies when the war ends. But when we take out Finland and stuff like that, we're going to need some radar for some seagoing craft. Alright. Bessarabia is looking great. Airfields, actually... Excavation. Let's get some airfield in... Well... Ermland Mazurin. Mazurin. What, air, what did I research? 1944. It's getting close to 1945. More construction speed sounds like a great idea. Wow, that's a lot of manpower. Ooh. And we're still mobilizing. Oh, yes. Oh, are we losing a battle up here? No. Cool. Um, ah, it looks like the Japanese invaded again, but something tells me our Korean allies, they're not going to tolerate this type of garbage. So I'm not even really concerned, so go ahead and move in if you can. How many divisions I got? Two there, and a few there. Keep doing that, Japan. Actually, take a quick look. Japan. Japan. You're kind of communist. Thank you. Uh, so many ships still. Whoa. Oh my gosh! I did it! Oh no! I was boosting the party popularity in the United States, and now it's communist states of America. God, I love the surprises I leave for myself. Oh my goodness. They're communist and they're in the Allies. Earl Browder, it feels like, it really feels like I have recently played with Earl Browder leading my country. I just can't put my foot on it. Oh, but look at that smile. Oh, he's so happy. Maybe he could be a great ally with us in the future. You never know. Oh my gosh, though. That's just, you know, first you have this country, which shall go unnamed under Daddy Kim, but then you have Daddy Browder as well. Oh, this is turning into one hell of a timeline. But regardless, we gotta keep killing off some uh, uh, people that people don't like. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, cool. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're suffering some mass, mass attrition here. Probably mostly because of my tanks and the lack of supply through here. Uh, I mean, I could try to attack. I don't think they're actually going to be able to break through. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to break through. Um, you know what? I'll do this. Send you guys back over here. But I'm going to take half of you without the motorized. Throw me another heavy tank there. And actually stay here for now. I'll do it with four heavy tank divisions instead. So yeah, send some of them away. That'll help the supply situation. That'll be good. Come back, come back. Some of you. Yeah, the problem with heavy tanks are just so heavy. Go figure, right? Nice. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, are they abandoning the line? What's going on? Germany, are you okay? Um... Okay, I will... G gladly take Danzig off your hands. You don't. You, you didn't need that. Uh, uh, go ahead and get in there as well if you can. Come on, take Danzig. We took Danzig. Okay, Germany, you didn't. You didn't need soldiers on your front, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's not too bad. Can I push this way? Uh, take half of you guys. Ah, an extra military factory. Very nice. Alright, so the supply situation here is quite a bit better. That's good. That's a little relieving. Heavy tanks, less than a thousand in a deficit. We still need a little bit more medium bombers, but our heavy fighters are doing greater and greater every single day. Love it. So much. And these are literally the only planes we have in our stockpile. Wow. So go ahead. You can probably just come to here. And I'm probably going to split you up and put you on the same army group. Go and come to here or something. Can't believe we actually took Danzig. Nice. Well, if they want to fight us, then we'll give them a fight they can't win. And send another Mountaineer Division up that way. It looks like this might be the beginning of the end for the Germans, which is really great. And our, these Italians, they're just suffering so much attrition. I will attack again once we have enough tanks, so we got to wait a little bit. But not too long, not too long. As I am putting more and more planes up in the sky every single day. Well, maybe not every day, but a lot of days. I need to figure out who actually has control over here. Um, you are Andrei v Vlasov. Vlasov. 
Alright, anywhere else we can exploit? Levo? Hmm. Then a couple of divisions this way. Yeah, we definitely want to expand into here. But we m don't really have the means to do so at the moment. Could I take this port? Is that possible? I don't think it is. No, it's not. It's not possible. Cool, just stay still. Hang out. Have a good time. Have a beer or something. Or vodka. Yeah, have some vodka, guys. I'm really waiting for us to get more tanks. That's really the next step for us. Take you guys, attack a couple guys here, then you guys help attack here, and then some of you guys help attack here as well. We... The enemy... The Axis... Does not have air superiority, which helps so much. Okay, I can't even tell you how much that helps out. And it's almost 1945, guys. Super close. We are no longer... Oh, well, we might be going up. We might be winning. Uh-oh. And... 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 And happy 1945, everyone. God dang it, we were so close. Keep pushing, pr putting pressure on this uh, tile. Take the city there. Oh, they're attacking us in Romania. I mean, I'm okay with that. Just keep attacking us there as we continue to put more planes in the sky. Every single day. Close to every single day. Oh, they, they have quite a few planes themselves. Interesting. But we have the means to continue producing more and more planes. So, good luck with that, Axis. Oh, we have a 40 things we could do here. Seize Manchuria. Uh, exploit Northern Armenia's aluminum. That actually might be good to do. Oh, aluminum plant would be good. Evacuate Leningrad aluminum plant. Uh, let's do that, because why not? All right. Four tank divisions are definitely not enough to attack here yet. Especially if you don't have uh, air superiority. But, like I've said, we're working on it. We're working on it. Any more planes yet? Ooh, Engineer 4, nice. Very nice. 15 million dead Germans. That's fine with me. 45, nothing here. Basic Amtraks. Mechanized, I would love mechanized things. Air, engineering, yeah. Get more, uh... Production. That's what it's called. Yeah, production. How are the Allies doing? Are they doing anything? They're attacking northern Spain, but they're not winning. They've lost any sort of naval invasion they've tried. Greece is on its last legs. Oh. If I send you this way right now, can you win? Probably not. Two more infantry divisions. Throw them onto here. Actually, you guys can help out in this battle, too. Maxime, you have nothing, so be it. Oh, we actually might win here. Oh, we did. Nice, great. Great job, guys. Romania is really our target right now. I definitely won't be able to finish this war by the time it did historically, obviously, but, you know, I'm just going to attribute that to a very, very strong Germany. Actually, just go ahead and push up this way. And actually send half of you guys up here so that these guys don't get encircled or anything. That would be very bad. Can I send the rest of my tanks up here? That would be great, if you could. If we could. 404 factories is pretty good. Lots and lots of uh, infrastructure. We might want to have maybe a little bit more military factories being constructed. Take half of you guys, help attack on this side. Take half of two guys. Half of two guys is one guy. One guy. Good. If we can do pull this off, this would be amazing. Uh, send you to do nothing. Just stay there. Oh, we cut him off. Immediately begin an assault because I don't know how long I can actually hold this correctly. So, just hang on. Don't be going to too many places that you shouldn't be going. And have a good time with them. And by having a good time, I mean kill off 25, 40, 42 divisions in total. Oh my goodness, I love this offensive. Very nice, very nice. You guys are doing a great, great job. Trotsky is proud of his fellow soldiers, and the Axis is pissed off by attacking me constantly. 
Well, they're always pissed off, but that's okay. And, oh yeah, look at that. 25 and a half million guys gone. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and rearrange the front line just a little bit. And then rearrange these guys. We need our next offensive to go very well. I do want to take out the oil supply here. The best place to attack would be not over a river, but there's a lot of rivers around Romania, and we will do, probably launch it right here. The next step. Um, let's see. Anyone else? Army regrouping is not bad. Close air support's okay. Subs are okay. Capital ships. I'll probably do capital ships, but since we're not really using it yet, I'm gonna wait for that. National character. Legal status of women. Brinkmanship. Daily political power. Justify war goal time goes down by 50%. That's not bad. Balanced approach. Uh, I like order above all usually, actually. <clears throat> Just because you get less strikes, apparently. Effective partisans on us. And I don't have to be democratic. Need more stability. Ah, order above all. And then I'll get some more stability for us eventually. Stability for the people. Nice. That's Arabia is ours once again. Great job, guys. Great job. Take a quick look. Heavy tanks doing better. Heavy fighters. Well, I could use a few more. Nice. Oh, actually, I could deploy them in a single wing? Huh. I did not know that. I'm going to split them up and probably put the 200 planes for the tank division, maybe? Yeah, put them in the tank division. That might help out. All right, so our tanks are still moving around. Good, good, good. How is Korea? Did anyone invade yet? The Japanese definitely are trying to, and they're failing. Uh, this is looking kind of nasty. Go ahead and end their miserable existence. Logistic Companies Four is done, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Japanese invaded British Raj, pretty typical. No one's invaded Iran, which is great. And tanks. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Thank you very much. Hmm. The Italians probably really don't want me over the river. Can I get any... I mean, this tile is actually pretty bad to attack anywhere. This is 19 divisions. That's too much for me to attack. Right here might, actually might be good. Could I do this? Force them to attack as hard as possible. I might lose a division. Probably not, but hey, maybe we can break. If we can break over the river, let's do it. Nice. And we're going to immediately get attacked by doing this. Go ahead. We've broken over the river using our armored horses. Our thick armored horses. And I don't want to just get to hungry. That wouldn't be very fruitful. But I will do the same sort of thing and go up through... Or close to Ayasi. Actually, since no one's here, uh, send you two divisions attack this way. If we can break across here quickly enough, that'd be probably be pretty good. Yay, motorized! Keep defending. Send the other two guys here. Nice, the tanks are doing a great job. Eventually, we'll get some more infantry, which will be great. Nice. Both you guys, make sure these guys don't send, don't move. And the enemies are getting very, very tired out. Awesome, yeah. Just keep attacking me, guys. That's going to work out super well for you when you can't pierce me. I need to research modern tanks. That's what I have to do. Good. Very good. Go ahead and move up this direction if you can. Nice, very nice. What are Romania's casualties? Oh, Germany lost quite a few. Italy's quite a few. Romania is at 1.38. That's actually not terrible, for them at least, because they're on service by requirement. They got a little bit of manpower left, but that's, it's not great. But, you know, 1.38 from Romania could be much worse at the moment. I'll, I'm going to make sure it becomes much, much worse. Go ahead and just instantly move up. And then when you're done, take half you guys and come up here as well. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't want all of you guys... Oh my goodness, you're redeploying the entire line at the worst time possible. Absolutely terrible time for you guys to redeploy.
Um, come here. And send like you to just kind of hang out. I need another encirclement quickly. Nice, we did it. We did it. Go ahead and push these guys, punish these guys for their actions. Uh, yeah. Take some of you guys. That is 16 divisions here. 10 plus 8 is 18. So that's 34 divisions trapped in total. Wowzers. That's pretty bad. That's pretty devastating, not gonna lie. Uh, let's take a quick look with supply. Where's our oil? Did we take it yet? No, we need Polesti, I think. Ooh. Oh, that's resistance. Resource. Oil. Uh, oil's down here. We're definitely going to try to get that next. Go! We did that. Great job, guys. Great job. 27 million Axis casualties. Uh, we... Oh, I knew we'd lose the motorized. We lost our motorized infantry division. We only have seven heavy tank divisions now. But their sacrifice will not be in vain. I promise you that. I hope. Um, good, good, good. Air power. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and research extremely good tanks. Because 98% hardness isn't bad. That is still better than the on the right is the heavy is the modern tanks. On the left is the heavy tanks. Uh, let's see. Actually, the modern tanks have less heart attack. Same armor, though. Uh, slightly better or faster to produce. Use slightly more fuel. Uh, piercing's okay. Speed is definitely better. More soft attack. More breakthrough. Overall, one more defense. That's quite a bit better. Oh. And if you hear anything in the background, apparently there's a John Deere going back through the fields. Huh. I've never seen a John Deere go in my back in my backyard. What the heck? Now that's weird. Regardless. Uh yeah, we gotta we gotta fight south. Oh, but we could strike north too. But I need to cripple the Axis's oil supply. That's really our goal. So, maybe I could get down to Bulgaria and then claim Constantinople for us, or Istanbul, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, Moldova. Nice, let's do that. I oh, we're almost done with Bessarabia. Oh, I guess we're done with Bessarabia. Great. And it looks like we could use some more military factories. Thank you very much. Another infantry division. Awesome. Thanks. Great job. Do we have any more planes? Any more planes? Yes, we do. All we have to spare are heavy fighters. Let's go ahead and throw them on you. Great. Tanks? You're about to embark on the greatest journey ever known to man. Taking Galiti. Galati. From four different angles. We are going to take the city. Awesome. Uh, the d Wow, you're already Indian? Or not British? Ooh, you're pretty communist. Ooh, baby. Huh. Hmm. Clamp down on corruption. You're communist already. In or you're fairly communist, not super communist, but pretty communist. Great. And we took the city. Great. Mm, immediately go this direction. Send half or a couple of these guys this way as well. Uh, and the Hungarians and the Italians are defending Romanian borders. Go figure. I want to cut these guys off as well, though. That might be good to cut those guys off first. Ah, finally. A 1940s for cruiser hull. But we're not ready quite for cruisers yet because we have to research their guns first. So I want to cut these guys off before we spread out too far. Yeah, do that, I suppose. I want Constanta. Take these guys out. Push our front this way. And then we'll take Polesti and Bucharest eventually. 1945. Of course we got to get that nuclear bomb. The bomb. At least we're finally pushing. It felt like for quite a few of these episodes, we just weren't able to push because the German divisions were just too strong. Is anyone attacking us yet? No? Okay, then. Oh, well, I lied. I guess. Oh, look at that German division. Holy cow. That's pretty weak. Incredulously weak. Take half of you guys. See if you can do any damage here. Help them out. And then you guys also help them out as well. Do you have an upgrade? Alexander. 
No, you do not. So be it. Push d just straight down. Oh, the British have arrived. Um, you know what? I'm not actually going to help them out just because I don't want the Brits to get any sort of land here. So, good, good, good job, guys. I'm going to actually push this way as well next. Just so that the Axis can take this territory back. Good. And I don't have to share with anybody. That's right. I'm not sharing with the Allies. And we probably can't take this territory. It's 51. If I give you a force attack, you might start winning. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we took that tile. Awesome. Now, the Vaux will definitely be our next target. Send three divisions from here. Send a couple divisions here. And then send the four that are going south over here. We probably won't be able to win, but it's worth a try. And the Germans are pissed off at us again. Ah, uh, but when are they never pissed off? Oh, good, we actually won there. Nice. Disperse Industry 6. No, thank you. Construction 6 is done. Streamline line is finished. Fuel from refiners. Well, we're okay on fuel at the moment. We're pretty much done with this screen. We can do nothing except for this. Eh, we'll do that, because why not? Nice. Good job, guys. This is actually really good. I want to get down here, take out this tile, push our front line down further south, and then take out the oil fields. Why do I want this first? Mostly because I don't want to spread out my line too thinly. That's pretty much why. Take half of you guys, and then send all of the tanks with you to attack this direction. Oh, you... Oh, well, you can't actually attack that way. Hmm. One and three. Go ahead and hold. Not all the tanks have to be in the battle, I suppose. And they're attacking us quite a bit again. We didn't... Okay, we were losing the battle, but we won regardless. Good. Tell these guys to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, I thought that was two tiles. I guess that was just one. That's fine. Whatever. You know. Whatever. Keep it. Now we can't quite get them yet. But something tells me we might be able to force uh, a lack of supplies to get through here. Heavy fighters. Heavy fighters. Torpedo bombers. UK announces a diplomatic maneuver. Well, good luck with that. Uh, definitely don't want to do kamikaze strikes. Port strikes here would be great. If you can do that, awesome. Because we're going to bomb the hell out of any supplies that you get. I don't want any sort of loose ends here. So, let me guess. We need torpedo bombers. Oh, we need naval bombers, really. Maritime patrol. Thank you, John Deere, for coming back and uh, interacting with my... Subscribers, thank you very much. Oh, actually, we sunk a, a... Oh, with some help. Actually, not with any help. We sunk an Italian destroyer and a convoy. Oh, and then a Romanian destroyer. Great. And to think that, that our union, or our Russian SFSR, isn't very good in terms of naval capacity or killing off enemy ships. Ha. Ha, I say. All right, you're all here yet? Cool, just go ahead. They want to get supplies in, well, that the supplies will die. And this little area is gone. Come on. Awesome. That's really, really great. Go ahead and redeploy our front line, just in case we need to equalize the front line. Come on, allies, what are you doing? Oh, you actually invaded Bordeaux. Well, you didn't invade Bordeaux, you're going to die. If you can't take Bordeaux. Next up, in the next episode, because we're pretty much done here today, what we're going to do, go ahead and hold, is... Continue taking more bits of territory and then just push for Bucharest. Probably in the next episode. That'll be our goal. We're going to capitulate Romania next time. Because our offensive is mostly done with the title of this video. The Jassini Kishnif offensive. That, that offensive is pretty much done. But the part two of that offensive will finish tomorrow. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for subscribing and liking my videos and being here every day with me, if you're here every day with me. Uh, I do appreciate all the support you guys have given me, all the comments and stuff like that. I do appreciate you guys for getting me up to 500 subscribers. I really do enjoy that. So, with that in mind, though, that's all the time we have for today. I will see you tomorrow, guys, and yeah, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.